second most dangerous test was a huge, specially constructed vacuum chamber. They were able to pull all the air out to create a big vacuum. That way we could test our suits to make sure there was no leakage. One such test narrowly avoided disaster. Jim LeBlanc was the test subject in the vacuum chamber. This is one of the rare instances where they try to use a spacesuit in a vacuum chamber, but quickly realized that it's impossible in a high vacuum. So they immediately started using swimming pools to train and remained silent on the absence of vacuum chamber training by astronauts, which basically is a lie by omission. As I stumbled backwards, I could feel the slime on my tongue starting to bubble just before I went unconscious. And that's kind of the last And seeing as the human body mainly consists of water, the following clip will demonstrate what will happen to these astronauts. See a little bit of bubbles start going and whoa start boiling. How cool is that? See what happens to bubble wrap if we put it in a table vacuum pump. Oh my god, look at it! Woo! Oh my god, look at it! You hear what I'm saying? But maybe you've seen a demonstration of a bell under a glass jar. With normal air inside the jar, you could hear the bell clearly. But when the vacuum pump drew the air out of the jar, there was nothing inside to carry the vibrations of the bell. Nothing until the air was let back into the jar. They can't let you get your uh, photo numbers. And this is clear tube number two. Okay, just the fact that I was driving without a hammer. But if you hand it to me, I'll get it in a second. I'm going to take a couple more shots of this before we get all the way in. I get the picture. Alright? Driving in real easy here. The sounds in space. Um, it's odd to have a hammer or a metal tool and bang it against something and hear absolutely nothing. You can, you know, sound will travel in vacuum, so there you are outside and you can be hitting something, no sound at all. In space, since there's no, uh, there's no atmosphere, there's no air, if you bang on something when you're doing your spacewalk, you will not be able to hear that. And this leads us to the dilemma of our final segment. All modern astronauts, such as Piers Sellers and Mike Massimino, claim to hear absolutely nothing when they're out on the International Space Station in the vacuum, banging away with metal tools and objects, whereas during the Apollo missions, all kinds of sounds have been recorded that should not be possible if they are on the moon in the vacuum of space. Take it back, 